Right then, this is a quick walk around video. And this is for a Volvo C30. And it's the two litre R design model. Finished in red with the full black leather interior. Car's in absolutely beautiful condition. 77,000 miles on the clock. Um, never believe it to look at the condition of the car. Only the odd tiny little mark. Um, front of the car's really clean. It's hard to see stone chip anywhere on it. Try to get my shadow out of the way. Lovely sunny day. Rubbish for videos, unfortunately. So you come down the near side first. It's pretty much mirror smooth on the panels there. Near side front alloy, five spoke design. Absolutely clean. There's a whistle there. And the panels on this side are absolutely fantastic. Near side rear alloy, really good. Just a tiny bit of light curving right at the top there. You can just about make out. Coming around the back of the car. Very, very, very clean. Let's close the fuel flap. Apologise. And then off side of the vehicle, as with the near side, it's pretty much a, like a mirror on the panels. I'm going to go backwards because it's, it doesn't glare so much with the sun that way. Hopefully, it won't trip over. Sorry, I almost forgot the out of the wheel there. Just say it's clean because it is. There you go, just show you it. And then let's come back down to panel work. Just wonderfully, wonderfully clean. And then final alloy, again, absolutely beautiful condition. So externally, if it's a you know just beautiful looking car and it's an absolutely super condition. It's coming into the boot area now. As you can see there, covers all in place. I'll just pull that back in a second so you can see. The carpeted areas look absolutely as new back here. It's coming inside the car now. Rear seats, full black leather, and again, been kept beautifully. Passenger door card, as with the driver's one, kept really, really nicely. All the little recesses really kept beautifully as well. Full set of mats in the car. And the passenger seat there has been given minimal use. Driver's side door card, again, beautifully clean. And the driver's seat is in exceptional condition. Again, to think it's in the miles it's done, it's hard to believe because there's, there's virtually zero wear on that seat at all. Right, so sat inside the car now. Engine's running through the section so the dashboard can be seen illuminated. The dash itself pretty much looks as new in here. It is in beautiful, beautiful condition. Pan up to the main dashboard itself. You go in there, you can see the engine's running, 77,793 miles, and there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all. Uh, steering wheel pretty much looks and feels as new in hand as well. Uh, certainly one of the videos that's going to not do justice to the car, in all honesty. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Volvo C30 and it's a two litre R design. The particular car is registered WV61 LBJ and mileage is 77,787 miles. The reason for doing the video is basically so that if anyone's looking at the car online in an advert, they actually get to see the car in operation. Um, we know just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car, which looks great in the advert and in the description only to find out when you drive it, it's got a fundamental problem which would have shown up on test drive straight away and you wouldn't have turned up had you have known. Uh, so hence that's why we do it. Um, it's also done on these very quiet country roads, uh, very, very close to our premises. So hopefully be representative of what you feel yourself if offered a test drive on the car. Uh, the car itself, um, it's rare for us to have one in all honesty. We're, we specialize in Honda vehicles. A uh, chap bought a Honda Civic, needed a bit more practicality with um, a growing family, so hence that's why we got the car. Um, but the car's been very well looked after, it's in lovely condition, uh, and it drives beautifully, it really does. There's no warning lights on the dashboard at all that, uh, relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Um, engine starts absolutely instantly, settles to completely smooth, even idle. Uh, but a lovely engine, it pulls beautifully through the you know, complete rev range of the car and it maintains its composure in doing so, it doesn't get harsh at all, it's just got a really 
lovely flex flexibility to it but a really nice engine note as well you can see why the car was as popular as it, as it was and is um, clutch on the car spot on it's smooth um, silky in operation bike points spot on as well um, that then feeds through into the gearbox uh, gear changes again just feels really tight and crisp a uh, nice gear change as well it feels kind of meaty in hand it's got a nice quality of actuation when there's some compression gauges it's, um, it's quite sporty in feel um, and it, the, the linkage is really good on it it's not vague in the slightest it's been done very very well indeed steering of the car is again really nice tracks absolutely dead straight there's no vibrations at all this speed or any speed up to the legal limit um, but a lovely power steering system very accurate nicely weighted um, and it's nice and precise you know it, it suits the character of the car really really well the chassis of the vehicle again they've done a really lovely job on it um because it manages to combine it it's very very comfortable this car that's the one thing that really does stand out it's a car that you feel like you could do a lot of miles in very very comfortably indeed um but it's still very agile as well it you know likes to be kind of hustled along um damping's really nice on the car maintains a really nice um flat attitude to the corners um just a you know very very pleasant vehicle indeed you can see why the chap was so reluctant to part with it it's um, it's one of those cars that has a, just a it just feels right straight away as soon as you drive the car so distracted by honda integra type r complete nerd on over there we are um what i'm also checking for with the chassis when i'm driving the car is when it hits a bump um i just don't want to hear any kind of, sort of nasty kind of knocking noises or clonks from underneath and there's nothing at all so you, you obviously hear it hitting um, a bump but you don't, don't get all that horrible sort of chattering noises coming from underneath the vehicle the brakes in the car are really really good um, just give them a bit of a make sure no one's behind me but give them a thumb but yeah it's a lovely solid brake pedal what I'm looking for with the brakes by the way is when I hit the brakes um, that there isn't any kind of pulsing or vibrations coming back through the pedal um, and that the car stops nice and straight it doesn't um, deviate violently left or right and, it, and it's absolutely spot on in that respect looking around inside the car it's said we've not even cleaned it yet it's hardly needs a clean in all honesty it's, it's been kept that nicely and um, very very nicely built as you'd expect of a volvo uh, there's no squeaks no rattles everything seems to work exactly as it should air conditioning is lovely and cold in the car um, the, all the gauges here everything seems to work exactly as they should instrumentation in front of me is minimalist which I really like actually it reminds me of a motorbike um, binnacle big symmetrical dials which is really really nice to see um, and again all the gauges all the pixelation exactly as it should be as I said at the start of the video the, the you know, point of it is, is albeit it is brief and I know that is you know so literally to show you the car in operation and um, but to feed back on any issues no matter how small they might be but there is genuinely nothing to feed back on the car it just drives absolutely beautifully it feels really really tight um but yeah fabulous car uh having said that if you've got any questions you know don't hesitate to please give us a call